Welcome, my friends, to It's Vinally Mine. So glad you could join us today as we look at yet another Patreon pick. Yes, if you hadn't heard, if you go over to our Patreon page and join the top tier, you can vote on a uh, vinyl that we will review here on the show. But this month, I decided to do all Patreon picks. So the second one uh, that we're looking at this month is the soundtrack to Igor and the Lunatics. Now, if you're not familiar with Igor and the Lunatics, it is a B film to be sure. I was introduced to it by my good friend Doc, who actually is also the one that got me uh, this vinyl. And uh, yeah, it, we watched it on VHS. We used to do Bad Movie Night, and this one definitely fits into that category. It's got a lot of quirkiness to it, a lot of extreme uh, just quality issues, among other things, but it, we still found it entertaining, at least if nothing else, to kind to laugh at, especially considering this film is one that uh, it changed its cast like halfway through the film. And now its director, W.J. Uh, Parolini, uh, has only really directed one other thing, and that was the Star Wars, uh, the Clone Wars preview special. Okay, so, and if you've seen this movie, you can probably guess why. But this soundtrack is interesting. I always wanted to hear more musical cues and wonder just exactly what it all would sound like on its standalone. And now we get a chance thanks to TerrorVision. So we're going to drop the needle and take a look at uh, their release. So here we have uh, Igor and the Lunatics soundtrack. We're going to take it out of the plastic here. Uh, we got this from our good friend Doc, as I mentioned before. And yeah, I am tell you right now this <laughs> the cover uh, for this vinyl is far more exciting uh, than a lot of the film especially the artwork for the releases i've got this on vhs and the the box art is just this red box art with the igor and the lunatics font and it's not exactly an exciting release on vhs so this cover art alone is by far better than any of the cover art i've seen released for the film we've got the igor and the lunatics uh, uh font at the top music from and this wonderful uh, retro type of uh, artwork going on. I loved the design of everything here. It, it just it just pops for you. It gives you the character and the feel of what you saw in the film. I'm just loving the front cover art. Now, the back of cover art, what do we got? Well, a little more standard layout here. The big font, Igor and the Lunatics. Music from the motion picture composed by uh, Sonia uh, Rustein, or, um, excuse me, uh, Ru Stein, who uh, is also known as Sonia with a small I in her name, uh, a punk artist. And the only other music that I've seen she, she's done is a work called Titles Are Too Mainstream, at least for soundtracks. So it is a unique release in that this is one of her only soundtracks that she's done. Now, we get the same creepy guy that we had on the front. Love that art, Terror Visions logo here, as well as uh, the title again. And I love the fact that they do include stills here from the film though they are in small, smaller form than Not of This Earth, and it's probably because of the quality of where they had to get the stills from, though you get to see that there is some blood and extreme murder scenes going on in this film. We get the credits of the film as well here uh, with Igor and the Lunatics, and on the right, yes, our standard uh, track listing for both side A and side B, and uh, that it's recorded in uh, trauma sound. <laughs> I, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but uh, I love it. I love the fact that, that it just hits home and punches in that retro feel. Now, it is a gatefold, so let's see what's inside. Sorry, Bat Blade, gotta go away. And wow, yet again, just like Not of This Earth, this has a phenomenal art inside the gatefold. Terror Vision has not disappointed in their releases, and this again is one of those. I have such a, an appreciation for the talent and uh, just the embodiment of the quality of this art that we get on the gatefold on the inside. I, I, I just, I love it. Again, another one where I just love to have a poster of this. Now, it does have slots on both sides, so in here we do have the liner, and what's interesting is, again, 
much like we did with uh, Not of This Earth. We do have uh, some commentary here from uh, the composer. She came uh, May 2017. It appears to give her thoughts a bit on this soundtrack, and we get some more stills. Uh, you know, a little bit more risque in nature because this film uh, does have a number of those scenes, so I like that. And on the other side of the liner note is a commentary from uh, the director. Uh, again, 2017. So these were uh, written about a year before the release of the actual album. Uh, I always dig these liners note uh, conversations because it just gives you just a little window a little insight of the behind the scenes stuff for some of these films that never had any behind the scenes stuff recorded so these liner notes definitely are very informative and entertaining to read for sure so let's put that one away and let's take care of a look here at the vinyl itself. Now here I have it in the black sleeve. Not sure if that was the original sleeve or the previous owner who had this put it in there, but nonetheless, a uh, basic black sleeve. And let's see what the uh, vinyl looks like. Uh, I'm gonna kind of, kind of curious. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, tacky, uh, yet retro, yet fantastic. Clear vinyl with the color splattering. We've got that wonderful artwork from the gatefold on side B, much like we had for Not of This Earth, with the track listing on side A for both sides here. Uh, again, I, I love the color scheme. At first, I wasn't quite sure with the yellow and the reds and the oranges, but it works so well, especially if you've seen the movie and, and, and just capturing that B retro feel so there you have it with that we're going to take a short break i'm going to listen to this soundtrack and then when i come back i'm going to give you my favorite tracks to uh, this soundtrack and we'll tie things up so stay tuned for that folks by order of the supreme hollywood you are hereby ordered to cease revealing spoilers on your podcast or face the wrath of the great cinematic lord. Uh, you must disband your crew and forever close the door to your establishment. Ooh, yeah. No way, brother. Let me tell you, brother. All my movie maniacs out there know that besides watching movies, listening to soundtracks, and walking my parapet, I love talking movie spoilers, brother. And you're going to have to beat every movie maniac out there to get me to stop. What do you mean, no? This is madness! Yeah! This isn't madness, brother. This is my squared circle. What you gonna do when the spoiler room crew runs wild on you? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Spoiler Room Podcast episode 300 will be on the Special Mark Productions YouTube channel October 6th 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's a two-hour live event where the crew will be going against What The Fuck Movies, What The Fuck Movie product tie-ins, and whatever else comes to mind. There will be a live chat so you can interfere with the match whenever you want and ask questions or just say, What The Fuck? You can also find a link to the event on SpecialMarkProductions.com. So mark your calendars and prepare to take a seat in the spoiler room where the conversation is fresh, but we do spoil the movies. And we're back. Yes, uh, folks, uh, got a chance to listen to this soundtrack, though, and... Man, is it a unique sounding score. Again, a lot of electronic uh, music in the pieces that you have in here, as well as a couple of uh, vocal uh, music tracks, which I did not expect, which were uh, great, which definitely took me back to the film. Uh, my uh, favorite one, uh, well, I gotta say that it's gotta be uh, the Barn Scare Massacre. Um, I really enjoyed that track quite a bit. Uh, yeah, it just it just was fantastic. It's not a long music cue, but the music cue is just it. It's got you, you hear some talent in there. It's got this wonderful guitar riffing over uh, this uh, very constant, very uh, rhythmic uh, beat to it. And yeah, I just I really dug it quite a bit. But I enjoyed a, a lot of the tracks on here. One of the tracks you have in here, they're using 
uh, I believe it is the uh, uh, bedroom scene. They're using the strings on a sound on a guitar to sound almost like someone screaming or or getting stabbed. It, it's it's wild. It's really cool. Uh, Sonia really put a lot of work and effort into this. And reading the liner notes, this was her first score that she did, and she was right out of college and got a chance to do this music. Uh, just you know, yes, I'll do it, and it's great because there's tracks in here as well that uh, a couple of tracks that took me back to a Daft Punk's score of Tron Legacy. So it tells you kind of what kind of music you're going to expect uh, and get out of uh, Igor and the Lunatics soundtrack from a Terror Vision uh, vinyl. Uh, it's again, yet another one. I am not disappointed so far that I, from the uh, vinyl that I've gotten uh, from them, and I've got a few more on deck, so you'll want to make sure you stay tuned for those. And that's about it for us here on It's Vinyly Mine. Thank you so much for listening to me talk about uh, these uh, vinyl uh, soundtracks and albums that we are getting. And if you want a say in what we review here, head on over to our Patreon where you can join a tier and you get to vote on what we will talk about here on It's Vinyly Mine. I thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the thumbs up as well if you liked this video. It helps us out quite a bit. Once again, it's not yours, it's vinyly mine, and I'll see you on the flip side.